know if y'all see all of those fish. Interested in my little worm. Oh, that is a big one, y'all. Oh, that is a giant. Oh my goodness, Daddy, help me. Get him. Bud, this is a cat here. All right, y'all. So I'm in a pond out here where uh, we're doing a project and they're moving some equipment to get it where I want it. So while they're doing that, I decided to come out here and uh, I've never thrown this one before. Saw it on some us on YouTube. So I decided to get ones, red eye shad, rattle trap. Anyway, I come out here to this little bitty pond and on the very first cast, I catch one, which is right there on the stringer. But I got a couple minutes and I figured I'd just Make a few more casts and just see what happens. So this is a very clear pond. It's got some grass out in the center. Um, and I, I saw this is kind of some of the things they do down in Florida where they're they're fishing. So I decided to, uh, to try it here, see if it would work. I can see some bass actually moving around and cruising. Um, so anyway, I was just going to see if that would work here. Uh, Y'all can see that bass that's coming up on it now, just sitting out there. But I've fished this pond before, and I've caught some smaller bass. Uh, and the one I just caught was, you know, close to two pounds, not quite two pounds. But that means over the last year, these bass in this pond have are growing so I wanted to uh, just try it out and just see what happens you see that bass cruising right there I'm about to bring this rattle trap next to him let's just see what happens Boom. yep there we go so hmm well, buddy Anyway, so this was a success. That was pretty good. Pretty good little catch. So pretty uh pretty happy to have him. There's another one right there cruising. I don't even use rattle traps. So this is uh so I grew up on a river and uh you can use them but there's a lot of cypress knees and a lot of different things you had to worry about with throwing rattle traps, so I just chose not to. Um but obviously they are good for ponds with a lot of grass and it's, it's proven that today a couple more cash just kind of get everything lined out i guess i got some grass on it right now even with the grass on it that bass was checking it out i think the rattle trap's cool that was pretty awesome and this water's really clear so it's really cool to call all your shots see that bass right there he was in the grass as it came through I'll throw it out see if I can get him to, him to grab it well, he came for it but got spooked bring it right by him Time. Nope, let it go straight by. All right, well, I don't know if you ever see those bass just cruising through there. But obviously, they don't like this uh, red eye shad. It don't take long to get that equipment where I need it. I gotta go supervise those guys. You don't see that? There's another little bass cruising right there. Hmm, there's one. Ooh, there's about three, four of them coming after it. I wonder if I need to burn it faster. I probably don't even have the right reel for this. I have a 6 4 to 1 gear ratio. I'm throwing this on because I had it available. 
to get this thing cranking, I gotta put some work into it. I caught one on the first and third cast. This bait would do some good out here, but it don't look like it. I really need a topwater frog after seeing that bass come out of that grass right here on the edge. I probably need something shallow. Now, I know there's a lot of little bass in here, but I know for sure that there's one larger bass because he broke me off over in this corner we're working ourselves up to. Um, hit the other one caught by now, but ooh, there's one cruising right there, y'all. Get him to the oh. I just had one hit it, but he didn't grab it. He just tapped it. I don't understand how that happened. Oh, gosh, that's cool. Oh. I thought it was a good one. Oh, not my fingers, guy. Not my fingers. Man, he hit it, y'all. That little guy hit it. I don't know what's special about that cast outside of any other. I mean, obviously there's a deeper hole here, but maybe he was just hungrier than the others. I'm gonna have to go check on my guys, make sure they're doing what I asked them to do. I'm sure y'all gonna hear the equipment going on back there. It's high axis, so they have a pretty long little way they gotta track to get to where I want them to work. Lower than a lot of our other equipment. Hmm. I don't know if you saw that flash. I paused it for a second and it started back. I'm gonna hit it right where that spot was. Mm. Yep, time for me to back up. He's right there looking up at me. Where y'all snake winds? Oh, let's see if I'm scared. There he goes. There he goes. Yep, okay. He just swam out there under that log. Woof. Oh. Yeah, I thought I had a big one. I don't we'll call it a big old limb brim. I'm kind of curious to see how this filming works out with this. I got my chest mount a little higher on my chest than I normally do. Just try to kind of help with, you know, making sure when I set the hook, it doesn't bother y'all as much. I did buy this bait, but I did swap the hooks out with uh, with four aught uh, hooks. I didn't like the smaller ones that came on it. I just have to go a little bit more crab. I'm just thinking of a thumbnail. Some little short little videos like this. Oh, there's one y'all. Oh, I lost him. Oh, I don't know if he was nice or not. He felt good. I may have jerked it too, too hard. There's another thing about a rattle trap that's kind of similar to a jig. You can uh, 
more bass here, I should say. You can actually get it out there pretty good ways. Dang, I can't believe I missed that one. Yeah, I can. Y'all watch my videos, y'all know. I'm just not good at this. It's a lot of baby rim, a lot of baby bass right there. Right. Let's go check on my guys. I'll share some of that with y'all. I don't know if you've ever been in the Louisiana National Guard. We do some pretty cool stuff. Hey guys, there's some of our uh, P7 dozers that we use. Uh, we have winches and rippers on the back of those. We're doing uh, clearing and grubbing and other things. So, but they're really cool. See, here's some of our military haul assets. There's a wet. That's, uh, that's one of our high axes probably we've done in the past and all they're doing is just separating that dirt from that organic material the, the grass and the wood and that kind of thing so we can use that dirt for other purposes man there's still hope for this pond I don't think anything's in here. Pretty cool thumbnail, though. So, y'all, so yeah, we're filling in these ponds. So, uh, we're out here this weekend. We'll be coming out here for what the guard calls their two week AT annual training. We'll give opportunities for our guys to operate the equipment that you just saw. And then uh, we're actually filling in these ponds, leveling all this area out. Uh, future growth of Grandma State University. Uh, so anyway, just out here messing around. I'm messing around, they're actually working. Uh, but but yeah, it's gonna be pretty cool. So I don't know if you can see, there's two snakes over there. So obviously they're not gonna have any place to hide and I don't wanna be here. I decided to start coming out the water. So peace out. All right, I'm gonna come out here for a few minutes. Let's end. This is where I caught my PB. I'm going to throw swim jig and then throw some uh, drop shot. There's definitely a lot of movement and everything down here. Smaller bass. Bam. There's something out there. That brim chasing my line, you know. See how many little ones we can catch on this drop shot. Y'all, I don't know if y'all see all of those fish. Interested in my little worm. Surprisingly, they didn't want it. Oh, I see it. That's bass. Just swimming around, hitting the top of the water. Little. Cool.